yesterday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson spoke out after it was reported he allegedly called you-know-who in the White House a moron. <laughs> Here's what he had to say when reporters asked him about calling him a moron. I'm not going to deal with petty stuff like that. I mean, this is, this is what I don't understand about Washington. Again, you know, I'm not from this place, but the places I come from, we don't deal with that kind of petty nonsense. And it is intended to do nothing but divide people. Um, but what's really interesting is that he actually didn't deny that he called him a moron. I respect the pivot. It well, was a good pivot, wasn't it? It sort of told you that he's not going to lie. He doesn't lie because he could yeah. have easily said, I didn't say that, and he yeah. didn't do it. So he's not really a liar. And that's, that's a good, good news. Thing. I mean, uh, actually, um, Donald Trump tweeted, you know, this was all fake news and NBC should retract the story. And then Stephanie Rule from NBC actually got on air and said, you know what, my source really said he said was that like, like they totally doubled down on it. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, I, I have to tell you, <laughs> the person who could probably answer this question and many more questions about you know who is Joy. Oh. Isn't that right, Joy? Well, yeah, because um, <laughs> even though it's a... <laughs> Even though it is alleged that Tillerson called him a moron, I am confirming allegations that I actually called him a moron way before. <laughs> Here's Larry David doing a dramatic reading from my new book, The Great Gas Bag, <laughs> an A to Z study guide to surviving Trump world, which is available for pre-order on Amazon.com. Watch Larry call him a moron. M is for moron. There's an actual medical scale of stupidity, and moron is not at the bottom. The scale is based on standardized IQ testing. For example, an imbecile is smarter than an idiot, and a moron is smarter than an imbecile. So Donald, when it comes to the stupid scale, be proud. You're a moron. You don't get a benefit of the doubt. Clearly, have not read the book yet. Like that was well, because it's not out yet. Yeah. Yeah. But you can get, you can order it. You can order it also on Audible. Yes. Yeah. It's the guest bag. <laughs> Well, Whoopi's doing that because when yes. Barbara was pushing her book, we used to sing, audition. Yes. <laughs> and, and it went yes. to the bestseller list, so we're, yes. you know, so we, we learned we from the, the best. Same thing. Right. So, <laughs> you know, Tillerson apparently should stick around because according to Tennessee uh, Senator Bob Corker, mm -hmm. we need him, really need him right now. Take a look. Secretary Tillerson, Secretary Mattis, and uh, Chief of Staff Kelly uh, are those people that help separate our country from chaos. They work very well together to make sure that the policies we put forth around the world are, you know, sound and coherent. There are other people uh, uh, within the administration, in my belief, that don't. <laughs> so should it terrify folks that there are only three people keeping us <laughs> Keeping us God. off the precipice, yeah. according I to him. I think Tillerson has been going head to head with him for a while because they're both CEOs. Like I don't think they're oh. used to answering to anyone. Whereas like the generals have, are used to rank and file. That's how you come up in the military. That's so you're right. used to taking orders, direction. But I think they're having a hard time because they were usually thank you you're sure. their own bosses, and they weren't yeah. used to ever having to be accountable to someone. That, that's a good point. I mean, Tillerson has I think been very strong on on North Korean diplomacy. He's like you know. Donald Trump will, will tweet something out like, there's no space for diplomacy. And then Tillerson will make a statement and say, no, no, actually, you know, I'm Secretary of State and there is room for diplomacy. So they have kept, I think, the right. chaos at bay. But, when but he will, said they re it, will they stay? When he, said the lang they sorry, when he said the language divides, though, it made me giggle because part of this beef was Tillerson came out and said he wanted to be, to do, you know, uh, try diplomacy with North yeah. Korea. Yeah. And Trump came out and said, tell him to save his breath. Like, he's wasting his time. That to me is a little divided. Yeah, like well, well meaning, meaning, what? meaning what? That his only military action? Well, is he was saying he had a different approach. Yeah. But like, when to the chief we, diplomat. I right, just find it country. interesting because I don't remember, and maybe my my history is not as good. Uh, an organization or an administration that had so many people coming out saying just opposite things. <laughs>
Oh, Not even like a little different, like well, just opposite. It's, it seems to me that things have gotten so bad. I mean, our audience knows it already, mm -hmm. but now it's starting to filter down to people like Corker and all the, and they, they, they become blurters. They like blur, like the, it's like the administration's blurters and leakers. That's yes. what they are. Yeah. You know, uh, JFK had the, the best of the brightest. They have the blurters and the leakers. Yeah. And, and people are so frustrated. They're just saying, you're a moron, you know, or, or, or he's, he's the, it's chaos. They're well, just I, yelling. I, I think, you know, yeah. when you're putting people's lives in danger, you know, it's one thing when you've decimated the, the uh, diploma, diplomatic uh, lines. There are very few diplomats out there yeah. sort of representing us. But, you know, when you have us on the precipice of war, mm -hmm. someone has to come out and say, you know what? No, that's not what we're doing. This yeah. is how we're handling this. And, yeah. and you know, look, I always say, listen, you want to wage a war with somebody, find a guy who's pissing you off. Mm-hmm. You know? Find the one who's... I want him yeah. and Kim Jong. I want the two of them. Do you remember Deathmatch? Yeah, like the, a Mortal the, Kombat. The, the, right. more, the, remember the clay yeah. guys? Are, that's where I want to see them Despite fight. Just the two of yeah, them. Just fight. Right. You all go Leave fight. us all out of it. Because I don't think we're... I think we have a different way to approach... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, North Korea. Mm -hmm. And I think that one of the things that people have been saying that it's, I think has been inaccurate is that nothing has happened, that we haven't done it. But the, the bottom line is when, uh, before I think he took his dad out, uh, they had a very, oh, Kim Jong -un. yeah, I think they had a very specific thing. We dealt with uh, the North Koreans very specifically. It's like, look, we will pay you and you can feed your people because you're just making ammunition and munitions. I think President so we, Obama called it strategic patience. Like they had, they were, yes, they yes. had a certain Republicans and Democratic presidents all had the same approach. Well, yeah, we'll pay you, yeah. and you'll feed your people because we know your people are hungry. Mm -hmm. You're not going to sell your arms to other places because that would be not good for anybody. So we're going to give you the money you need and. Leave your neighbor alone, because if you mess with them, that's not going to bode well right. for anybody. The problem and with that's this guy, well. though, Kim Jong Un, as you say, they're hungry. He's never hungry. He's he. You can see that. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I'm, it's not even a joke. But he's not hungry, and it's all about his narcissism. Also, well now you have is. Trump with well, because, his and this guy with his. Because we've not had anyone who understood that. Yeah. You know, when you have two narcissists, that's what they yes. do. They that's fight the, each other. Yeah. So I'm saying, listen, y'all take that over there and let the grown-ups actually run how this should be going. Well, take it outside. Well, and speaking about the grown-ups, I think, you know, it seems that um, General Kelly, who's now the chief of staff, has really reined everyone in. It seems to be, you know, yeah. lock and file now. But will he stay? Because he's even had he better if, stay. No, I, I don't. don't think I don't is. know that that he well, will you know stay what? and that Tillerson he, will stay. Well, no. he and Mattis need to stay. Like we need them there. Imagine if they leave. There's nobody. Well, what? there's <laughs> Ivanka. There's Ivanka. <laughs> Jared and Jared <laughs> and Melania. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. <laughs>